Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. ABCD is a square. Point E is exterior to the square, such that EA is equal to 5, EB is equal to 2, and EC is equal to 4. What is the area of square ABCD? I thank Elmer for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Suppose the square has a side length equal to x. Consider the following right triangle. Suppose its legs are equal to a and b. By my favorite right triangle theorem, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Consider then the following right triangle. One leg is equal to a plus x, and the other leg is equal to b. Therefore, we have the quantity a plus x squared plus b squared is equal to 4 squared, and that's equal to 16. We finally have this right triangle. One leg is equal to a, and the other leg is equal to x plus b. We thus have a squared plus the quantity b plus x squared is equal to 5 squared, and that's equal to 25. Let's now focus on these three equations. Consider the middle equation. We first expand it out. Now notice we have an a squared plus b squared. We know that this is equal to 4, so we can substitute. From here, we will solve this equation for a. We'll subtract 4 from both sides. We'll then subtract x squared from both sides, and then we'll divide both sides by 2x. We thus get what a is equal to in terms of x. From here, we'll do the same thing in this equation, except we'll solve for b. We'll first expand out. We then have a squared plus b squared, and that's equal to 4. We'll solve this equation for b. We'll subtract 4 from both sides. We'll subtract x squared from both sides, and then we'll divide both sides by 2x. We thus have b in terms of x. We can take these expressions for a and b and substitute that into the first equation. We end up with the following equation. We'll first simplify it, and then we'll multiply both sides by 4x squared. From here, we need to solve this equation for x squared. We know the area of the square is equal to x squared, and we'll let that be equal to u. Let's substitute in. We'll now expand out and then collect like terms. What we have is a quadratic equation in u. We can thus use Brahmagupta's quadratic formula to solve for u. We end up with two possibilities. Once we simplify this, we get something that's approximately 31.8 and another possibility that's approximately 9.2. Let's now consider these two possibilities. Recall the area is equal to x squared, which is equal to u, so we'll substitute back in for x squared. Now recall that a is equal to 12 minus x squared all over 2x. Since we want e to be exterior to the square, we must have a be a non-negative number. Then, since the square's side length x is greater than 0, we have x squared is less than or equal to 12. Therefore, we cannot have x squared be approximately equal to 31.8. We exclude this possibility. We thus have the answer that x squared, or the area, is equal to 41 minus the square root of 511 all over 2. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.